Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am filming my second video for today and it feels so good to be back to filming. I know that you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, so that's all I'll say, but I love what I do. Today we are doing a Target haul. I haven't, I don't think I have a Target haul on my channel at all, but I go to Target all the time, but I haven't gone in about a month because we were in LA, we were just very busy. So I went and I kind of did a little over shopping. I believe I went for a tripod and came out with all this, literally. So there's no really categories, it's all random, but I'm just gonna share it all with you guys. Anyways, the first thing I'll start with is what I'm most excited about besides my tripod, which you guys are sitting on. It's really boring. I don't think you really care about the tripod, but shoes. Alea needed shoes, so I got her some new ones. Guys, they are so stinking cute. The I, She's not walking yet, but she's gonna start walking. Did I say this? I don't remember. It's late. Um, she's gonna start walking, so I needed to get some for that occasion. So I just got her these pink ones. They're kind of like sparkly, and then they have really long strings that tie into like a really poofy bow. I think they are so adorable, you guys. Um, this Cat and Jack brand, I actually hated it when they first brought it into Target. It, and now I actually really love it. It's just a little bit more expensive than the baby brand. I believe Carter's is what they had before. Um, I think it's a little bit more expensive, but I got these in a size five. And then these ones are my favorite things ever to exist. I like these more than any pair of shoes that I think I would even buy these shoes. These are also in a size five. I don't even know if the camera will pick up how fabulous these are. Oh my gosh, they're sparkly, they're bejeweled. I want you guys to see them so bad, so I'm gonna change the settings on the computer. I mean the computer. Look at these. Are you kidding me? How cute, how cute, how cute. I love them. I cannot wait to see her wear these. When I saw these, I, that's how I got sucked into the shoes. I wasn't even in the shoe, shoe section and then I saw these and I was like, mm, that, we're getting those. What else do you got here? Because you guys have some cute shoes. So these ones and then the last pair that I got for her, these are size five as well. These will fit her right this minute. They're just so cute, really easy to put on. Um, these were $14. But these are just, I, I really like these too, too. So if you're looking for baby girl shoes, I didn't look at baby boy shoes because Leva has so many pairs of shoes. But if you guys are looking for girl shoes at Target right now, they have really cute ones. Speaking of shoes, I also got myself two pairs. I don't think I've ever bought a pair of shoes from Target, to be honest. I see them sometimes, but I just don't really look. But these ones are just, oh my god, they're definitely, I feel like, me. If you could put me in a shoe, this is what I would look like. I love this color. It's like this like brownish, taupe, brown, wooden heel style. I, I literally just, I love these. And they're very casual. Like, I could wear these anywhere, which is what I like the most. Because I keep buying these fancy heels that no one's ever going to see. You guys haven't even seen them because I don't wear them anywhere. I don't go anywhere fancy. I'm like a mom of two toddlers that are one and two. Where am I going to go? So... I really like those because they're like casual. The second pair of shoes I got, I actually don't know how I feel about these. I might end up returning them. I think they're very cute, but I don't know how often I'd actually grab for them. So you guys let me know what you think, if you think that, I, I do feel like they're very versatile, like you could wear them with a lot of stuff. I just don't know. I don't know. Do you think that you could see me wearing these guys? Okay, now to the kind of like random all over different categories. I had got two of these. I love these if you own your own house or even do your own laundry. Um, having these in my laundry room is like the best thing ever. These are the unstoppable things. You put like one little cat full. Honestly, I put like half and it still works really well. People actually use this for other things too, like they put it in a little tea leaf bag kind of thing and put them in rooms to make the room smell good. Um, I know Chow Bella does that, but just are you kidding me? Like, how big is this? Usually they're so tiny, but I found this big one and I was like, okay, we'll get two so I don't have to buy any more for like a year. Also, I don't use these for every load. I usually use it with sheets, the baby stuff, or um, like blankets and towels. Me and Oscar's stuff, I don't really care to use it for. Okay, so this next part, you guys are probably gonna be like, here, really? I discovered Pixie not too long ago because Benji and Judy, well, Judy um, collaborated with them and did um, eyeshadows with them. So I was like, okay, let me look into this. Let me look into the brand. And I was really interested into it. And so I got the It's Judy's Life palette and then I, or the eyeshadow palette. My nose is running. I'm sorry, guys. And then um, I fell in love. And then I got there. Where is it? I got like a skin plumping serum. Loved it. Lotion. Loved it. Face wash. Loved it. So I was like, maybe I'll look at Pixie stuff. Bad idea. I got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, I think that's it. Seven beauty products from Pixie. In my defense, I don't actually have a defense. What I was really going to say is it's not cheap. They're each like around $20. Some stuff from their brand can be kind of affordable, but most of it's pretty expensive for drugstore stuff. Drugstore stuff. That's the category I'm in. I'm not talking about like Sephora. For Sephora, this is cheap, but anyways, the first thing I got is a hydrating milky mist with hydro I can never say this, hydroluronic acid and black oat. So, um, you can put this on before makeup, at night time, you can really do it for whatever you want, like as a primer or a setting spray, um, whatever you want to use it for, but anything that's milky, I'm like, I'll take it. And then the next thing I got is this Glotion Day Dew with lavender oil and mica. The thing, or I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the thing that gravitated me towards this is the lavender oil. The fact that they put lavender oil in this, I was like, give it to me, honey. And then you use this AM daily, you apply a thin la layer onto clean toned skin and it's just kind of give you a little bit more glow but I loved that I had lavender so I'm really excited to try this and then I got this overnight overnight glow serum with 10% glycinic glyceronic glycolic acid and aloe vera so um this one you can just obviously use in the afternoon it's or overnight it's an overnight glow serum and you can use two to three drops before moisturizer I literally, I, I love them. I don't know if it's the packaging that I like or Pixie. It kind of reminds me of like Tinkerbell, which I was obsessed with growing up. I don't know what it is that I'm so gravitated towards with this brand. I mean, I love their products, but I really have almost everything that they have. It's a little sickening. Like, I don't, I don't know why. So I got this. I'm really so excited to try this. I don't have any of these, actually. This is the one thing that I haven't tried at all. This is just a lip balm. You can use it for your cheeks. I don't really like to use that. I don't know. I, I feel like when something's meant for something, I, it's so annoying that I'm like that, but I don't like to like move it somewhere else. But this is in the shade Baby Petal. This is two in one, obviously, because you can use it for both. And then I got this Flawless and Poreless Primer. I, I, I'm not really into primers, but I like to try them for the sake of sharing good stuff with you guys. But it's Pixie. We had to get it. And then this, I'm really excited to try. They actually, I followed them on Instagram and they posted a picture of this and I was like, Bishwa, you guys have that? It's a skin tint and um, I'm so excited. I don't know. They only had it in four colors, but because it's a tint, I assume that it's really not that like, doesn't really have much, too much of a color. It's just a tint, so it doesn't need to exactly match. I want to see what it would look like if I pumped it onto my hand. Okay, as you can see, it's definitely like, it almost kind of looks like foundation. This is so interesting. It smells really good. It adds this like natural glow kind of. I don't know, I'll have to try that on my face. That feels so interesting. You guys probably can't tell the difference, but I should try it on my face in like a review video or something. Anyways, next thing I got is the makeup, makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. Again, they always are like adding things that are just like, oh, you just had to suck me in like that with the rose water. I get so hyped talking about products I love. I feel like my energy went from like one to level 10,000. Um, and the next thing I got is some baby socks. Alea is always losing socks. Okay, the next section of stuff I got is also where I went a little crazy. So I guess statement earrings are in nowadays, I think. I don't really know what's in trend anymore. It kind of seems to be everything. But I saw Khloe Kardashian wearing them. So doesn't that mean it's on trend? These are like these little poofy pink earrings. <laughs> I just can't see myself wearing these. But we're gonna try to be like Khloe Kardashian and try them out and see if we look as hot as her. And then I got some bangle bracelets. <laughs> I was gonna make, a, I'm gonna make this comment, but I'm gonna make another one after it. Okay, good announcement, Kira. Um, I really love when like bracelets are annoying. I love when you can hear people's bracelets like, I think that's like, it's so appealing to my mind. So I got these little bangles. I think that they are so cute. I've never even looked at Target's jewelry, if I'm being honest. So um, I was really excited and that's why I kind of went crazy. But this is by the brand In. Okay, I don't know the brand. But they sell it at Target. Um, what I was gonna say, those comments I was gonna make is, um, I really, Jaclyn Hill always wears noisy bracelets and I like oh, totally love it. And then I was gonna say, I feel like this whole video I'm like, I got these because of Khloe Kardashian and I like these because of Jaclyn Hill and I like this because of so-and-so and that because of so-and-so, like bitch, be your own person. I am my own person, I'm just, 
I think it's cute, you know? And then the next thing I got is this really long necklace. I haven't worn a long necklace in a really long time, but I really used to love them, like, a lot. And then I got some more hoops. I lose my hoops so easily. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. But I got some smaller hoops that are just really, really small and dainty. And then I got bigger hoops. Apparently, I only got one. Hopefully, the other one's in this Target bag somewhere. But some bigger ones. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hole. And then I got these. These kind of interested me. I don't ever wear big earrings. As you can see, the ones that I'm wearing right now are very small and dainty. You could probably even barely notice them. But I thought, you know, I want to be like, who wears these? These kind of give me Jaclyn Hill vibes too because they're like... Like, I don't know. She gives me, like, vibes. Does that make sense? Okay, anyways, more um, hoops. These ones are just, like, medium size and a little bit thinner. I like the thinner ones better. And then I got this. I have never worn anything. How, how could I show this to you guys? I've never really worn anything like this, but it's basically just silver. And then this is, like, a bigger, more stiffer piece, I guess you could say. Okay, and then I got this. This is, like, a layered necklace. It's a choker-style necklace. Like, they're shorter. I love these. These also gives me a jacket. Hill vibe. Jeez, I was just feeling Jaclyn Hill. I must have watched her that morning or something. And then I got, oh, these I really do like. These are statement earrings, kind of, but they're just more subtle and more my style. I really, really like these ones. They're so cute. And they're gold. I have so much silver jewelry. This is just a plain silver chain. I really liked that it was just plain because some days you're just feeling plain Jane and don't want something flashy. So this is really cute. And then I got some more slash statement earrings that are just like long and skinny. Um, this is another choker that is so cute. It sucks because my lighting, I'm sitting so far back, I have to have the lights right next to my camera. Um, but when I hold something up close to the camera, it's like just too bright. And then I got this choker. It's like black and gold. It's kind of tangled right now. But this is probably one of my favorite things that I got. I love this. This is so, it's like very sexy, like for a date night. Okay, and the last bag of stuff that I got is pants. I've never bought Target pants either, but I feel like everybody's stepping up their games with these jeans nowadays. These are just like blue. On the ends, they have like a little bit of cute detailing. <laughs> And they are high-waisted. I love high-waisted because I've lost a good amount of weight since I had both my kids, but I still have like a mom pouch where like I look constantly bloated kind of, and this sucks it all in for me. So I really, really like these. This is by the brand, um, I don't know, but they're from Target. And then I got this. This I really love. It's not warm enough to wear this yet, but it's like a little short, simple black dress, but then it has this little tie in the front, like right where your waist would be probably and it's just like a little knot cut out so cute love this one and then you guys know i love this color could you tell could you tell <laughs> so i just got it in like a simple um bigger t-shirt actually this is my size so what am i talking about bigger medium um i just got it in like a loose fitting i guess you could say and then I got the um, same brand of jeans, but they are just light wash jeans. Those are my favorite. And then bottoms have little cute details. And then, oh my God, I've been wanting to get another one of this. My pop socket, I took off like a dummy and now I regretted it. And now I got another one. So I just got like a silver, or a rose gold, I guess. Is this rose gold? Aluminum rose gold type one. And then the last thing I got, I think it's the last thing, besides the tripod that you guys are standing on, I will put the um, image of what this tripod is, to be honest. Not my favorite. I think if you're going to invest in a tripod, you should go to Best Buy or somewhere that has, like, that is meant to sell, like, camera gear. Like, yes, they have them at Target, but this one was 40 bucks, and honestly, it will break probably in two weeks, if even that. Okay, and then I got these pink pants. You guys, I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. They are so freaking cute. I saw these in the front, and they didn't have my size, and I was like... I have to have these. So I went um, to the back of the store and was looking at their other pants where I got those other ones and I found these ones. So we were in luck. The only thing about Target pants is I can't tell what sizing I am because some of their pants are like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other ones, I think, I believe it's called like Australian. No, Australian sizes are like eight. Like, I feel like, okay, the size I am at, like, PacSun is a 2, but then the size that I am at, like, Cotton On, which is, I believe, an Australian brand, is, like, an 8. And then the brand that I am at Target is possibly a 32. Like, what? Do you see why I'm confused? Are you as confused as I am? Because when I bought these pants, I literally had to be, like... Like, see, I'm a 25 in these ones. Like, wait, what? So I just had to go on, um, like, what it looks like to me, I guess. 
Same with those other two ones. Like the other brand I got, I was a two in, and then the other ones I got were, uh, point being, it really confuses me. Anyways, I know that this haul was so random, but I was really, oh my god, I forgot. I also got this tray to set my jewelry on, which I kind of already started to do. I have one already, but it's like very, it's like a small circle, like for hoop earrings, but I needed something to hold necklaces on. I will eventually, I would like to get like a jewelry tree type concept thing or something. I don't know. Let me know how you guys store your jewelry because I couldn't find anything at Target besides that. So that is what I went with. I love the tray. I know that I'll use it for something else if I don't use it for jewelry, but I'd love to find something for my jewelry that's like, you know, something I'm actually going to keep using and stuff that's not going to get tangled. But like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!